Uh, howdy everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I'm going to show you the forward-looking guidance for some of the charts that I can download from the St. Louis Fed uh, of the U.S. So I'm just going to show you the PNG files. Um, and one that currently is not working for some reason, but I'll show you that on the site itself. Okay, so these are the charts. So the first one is continue to claim uninsured unemployment. It's not peak low but it's low and it's doing pretty good. Next one, industrial production material. Again, hitting peak. Everything's doing well in the US. No sign of slowdown. Production, business equipment, it's hitting its peak at 100 or just barely under. But uh, it's, I mean, are you, do you really get better than this? Probably not. Not historically, at least. Uh, we also have production durable consumers good. Again, at peak at 120. And this data goes all the way back from the 50s, 40s. Next one is production manufacturing from the NAICS. Not quite peak from 2005, but pretty close. Unemployment rate is again not historical lows back in the 50s or late 40s but it's doing pretty good even in 60 late 60s but it's doing pretty good now when you look at the historical of the late 60s where we are we could see um, this to spike uh, just historically that's how it is but it might not spike as high current unemployment is just under four uh, percent but it could spike up to nine and it doesn't take that long out actually from 19, late 50s um, takes about maybe three four years for that to, to, to go up if the unemployment does go up um, let's see what else we got here private payroll employment is up it's nothing but new orders uh, excluding aircraft um, it's at its peak performance 70,000 durable good orders um, it's getting up there over 20 250,000 uh, so this one spiked back just after 2013 14 it, it is definitely on the rise permits this is for uh, building construction permits private housing has uh, dropped off it has been rising but here's something to look for right there it's coming off they come off here came back but one thing to look for is in the luxury building uh, builders see how they're doing that's a good forward indicator industrial production I believe peak performance again GDP uh, let's see, that's a continuously up 20,000 IPM mine. This is production and mining, I believe. Production and mining, it did drop off, but look, under Trump, it's, it's, it's on the rise again. PMI, it's an important one. This is very forward looking. Ah, here we go. Drop, but it does go through its peaks and troughs, so it is down. But it'd be interesting to see if this will come back down. Uh, manufacturing imports index. This is see how the trade war affects. I like to look for the net here. And you can clearly see it has come off in cyan here. And it's flattening. Uh, historically, I'm not sure uh, what we can um, relate it to. But we don't want it down here to 09 levels. Uh, obviously export manufacturing new export orders again down on the, on the net on the cyan here so that's not a good sign from an export point of view inventory this is another interesting one that will help okay so it has the, the inventory has been worked off throughout 2017 and it's starting to rise again. So these are unsold products or unsold manufacturing um, inventory that is rising. Okay, so that's something to watch for.
Uh, as you can see, it's starting to rise up a bit. Manufacturing inventory index is just overall, it's down. Interesting. I can't say anything beyond that, what I'm seeing. And then uh, again, this is manufacturing. New orders are way down. I'd say that's quite down. So not a lot of companies are putting in orders for production on whatever stuff. So we are looking at similar downward trends uh, early 2016 uh, throughout uh, maybe 2015. This is important to get that back up. Lastly is the unemployment or consumer. So it has trended up. So I could take that back to the bank. Here's the site where all this data comes from is fred.stlouisfed.org. Phil, Phil, I'll help you out. Talk to you later. And this is for October, or sorry, November 12th, 625 p.m. Later.